Yes. Sure. Then I go. Bye. What do you want? A dare? Oh. And what is it? Why not? I accept. Are you sure? That was fun. Ah, I am not afraid of him at all. Who are you? What? Oh. Is it that? Then only Foxy could take it. He always wants to steal my things. Again. What is it this time? What? <coughs> I have to do this. Show me. It can't be so bad. I was wrong. It's pretty bad. I'm going to tell everyone you're there. <laughs> I hope it won't be so bad. Warning. Only 5% energy left. Shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. What happened? Yes, thank God.
Yes, he is in the backstage. <laughs> you are welcome. Get another chair. Yes? There is something I would like to tell you. And what is that? Well, we know each other for a very long time. And I have always had feelings for you. You know I'm not a talkative bear. So I'm saying... I love you. I love you too. Yes. So, what would you like to talk about? And what's that? Yes. Why? Really? Well. Okay. I'll do it, because I love Foxy. But Foxy chose Toy Chica. Hi. Hi. Why are you so close? Because... I would like to have fun with a strong and manly Pirate Fox. Foxy. 
What are you doing? Look, let me explain. No, you don't have to explain anything. However, prepare yourself, bitch. <laughs> To prepare you boys, girls. Did you learn something today? Yes. This trouble weren't worth for him, Drew. What? Ah, uh, you got wrecked, wait. Guys, do you know where Bonnie is? Yes, he is on the toilet. Okay, thanks. Hey Bonnie. Can I talk with you? Yes. What do you want? I'll tell you fast. You got a dare, and you have to kiss Mangle. Well, I think she is cute. I love her since we met, but I don't know whether she loves me. Don't worry. Just tell her your feelings. Do you think it's gonna work? Hey Mangle. Hi Bonnie. What's up? There is something I would like to tell you. Since you and the toys moved here, I've had a very special feeling for you. I've always found you really nice and cute. Mangle. You are the sunshine in my life. You bring light in the darkest hours for me. And I love you. Hello everyone to the 8th part of the D.A.R.E. series. The chosen D.A.R.E. is, I dare everyone to eat every pizza while Shaq is in the bathroom. Hello guys. Here's some pizza, because we are gonna party tonight. But now I have to go to the toilet, so can you please take care of them? Hey honey listen. Tell me what's up. Are you hungry? Pizza. Invite the others. Let's party. Yes. Look, what have you done? Let me explain. No, you don't have to explain anything. Just go and wake the guys up. They will be so angry for this. Let's do it. What? I did it. 
So, what could you do for this trouble? What should we do? I wish I had this supernatural power too. We could help you in cooking in the next two weeks. Well, not a bad idea. We'll meet each other tomorrow in the kitchen. Bye bye guys. Freddy, it was such a bad idea. Sorry my friend. Hi guys. What's up? Not much. With you? Same. Hey Bonnie, yes, can I talk with Foxy in private? Of course. So, what do you want? Today, you got your third dare. Oh great. What is my dare? You have to kiss Toy Chica. That's a really great dare. Well, do you have any ideas how to reach your goal? Yes, plushies. Everyone loves them here. Well, good luck then. Thank you. Let's find that plushie. No. What did? Yes, finally. Hey Toy Chica. Hey Foxy. There is something I would like to give to you. What is it? Thank you Foxy. There is another thing I want to give to you. And it is? My love. Look. They are cute. What? Hi Freddy. Hi. I want to talk with you. One minute. I'll finish this first. So, what do you want? Well, you got to dare. First, you have to go on a romantic dare with Chica. And I think this is the easier. For second, you have to marry her. Well, people can't force me to do something like that. But you love Chica, right? Of course I love her. Then why don't you want to marry her? Don't you want this? No, of course I want to marry her. But I don't know whether this is a good time or not. You and Chica are a couple for quite a long time, right? Yes. Then ask her. If she loves you, she won't refuse it. How much time till we get there? I think we are nearly there. Look. This is really nice. Yes, Drake worked a lot with it. And he did a great job. So, what do you think, my dear? This was all beautiful and magical. Thank you, Freddy. I'm glad you liked it.
Chica. There is something I want to ask from you. You know, we are in luck for quite a long time. And our feelings are even more with every day that we spend with each other. So my question is... Will you marry me, Chica? Yes. Hi Freddy. What was last night? Everything went well? Very well. We are married. Glad to hear that. You helped me a lot, and I really appreciate your efforts. Thank you. But there is one more thing that I want to ask from you. What's that? Can you help me in my wedding party? I already asked Tommy and Foxy, and they said yes. Yes, of course. Does anybody know any reason why this couple can't get married? Chick of the chicken, would you like Freddy Sad Deer as your husband? Yes, I want. Freddy Sad Deer, would you like Chick as your wife? Yes, I want. You can kiss each other. Hello, it's the tenth part of the D.A.R.E. series. The D.A.R.E. is, I dare Bonnie and others to touch Freddy's nose. Hello, Bonnie. Hi, my friend. Look, have you heard about this accident? No. But can I ask you something? Of course. Could you gather everyone here except Freddy? All of you got a D.A.R.E. Yeah, I will gather them here. But what is the dare? All of you have to touch Freddy's nose. Really? He will kill us for this? Yes, I know. See you soon. Bye. So, here we are. Great. Where is Freddy? I saw him going to the toilet. Perfect. I'm gonna give him a beer. But it's not a regular beer. I put sleep and kill into it. So when he starts sleeping, you're gonna touch his nose. Okay. We'll wait in the backstage. Hello, Freddy. What's up? Nothing. I knew you'll say it. Never mind. Could you taste this beer for me? I'm afraid it's expired. Well... Okay. No, it isn't expired. It tastes really cool. Thanks, my friend. I knew I can count on you. When will he fall asleep? I don't know. Why do I feel so tired? Maybe we can go now.
Hi guys, it's the 12th part of the D.A.R.E. series. The D.A.R.E. is, I dare Lonnie to hang out with Mangle. Hello Mangle. Hi Bonnie. Can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Would you like to hang out with me this afternoon? Let me think. Yes, I'm free today. Great. See you at 3 p.m. So, where do you want to go? I don't really know. Just go for a walk, or to the playground, maybe. Okay Bonnie, let's go. So, where are we? This place is a very determinative place in my life. My father worked here for years, and he always brought me here. I really enjoyed those times. But a few years ago, he died. So we tried to sell this place to someone. Nobody wanted it. Now it's a deserted place. But I usually come back here to recall the old days. Oh Bonnie, your father really died? I didn't know it. My condolences. Thank you Mangle. Let me see this whole place. Come. So we walked around this whole place, right? As you say. Can we sit down a bit? My legs are hurting. Of course, just follow me. Did you like this jaunt? Yes. Everything is amazing with you. I love you. Let's see today's dare. Really? Well, I think I can make the guys to do this. But I will need a plan. Maybe, if they are a little drunk, it will be easier. I think I'll make a party tonight. Let's invite the guys. Yes it was. Well, yes it was really interesting, but I think it was good. I've never done that before. Wow. Sounds interesting. Hey, what are you talking about? Well it's a strange game. I don't remember the name. The rule is, everyone goes blindfolded, and then a person sets people in front of each other. Then they start kissing. Well, not dead. We should try it. Well, if you want. Start for three. One, two, three. Who did I kiss last night? Well, Golden Freddy and Tommy. Oh, 
Are you back for another dare? Okay, let's see it. It's not that bad. But I have to ask Golden Freddy, where they are. Let's find them. Again? I think I should go. I haven't heard about it yet. Interesting. Yeah, I just heard it a couple of minutes ago. Hey guys. Have you seen Golden Freddy? No. No. But maybe he is at the generator. Recently, he is always there. Thanks for the help. I wonder what Golden Freddy is doing down here. My plan is almost done. However, I need someone else to finish it. Hey Golden Freddy. Can you help me? I have to find the nightmares, and I heard you know where they are right now. Sure. With one condition. What's that? You owe me one for this. Fine. Then, let's go. Trick. What happened? You fainted after we arrived. Great. My head hurts a bit. Don't worry, it will be soon. However, come with me. I already found the nightmares. And we would really appreciate if you could come to our pizzeria. Sure, why not? Great. Come, whenever you want. What do you think about them? I think they are kind. Maybe I should invite them to live here. But, will the others accept them? I don't know. Hi Bonnie. What are you doing here? Hi Mangle. Maybe you know, my guitar is broken. We were playing with Freddy yesterday, and the guitar fell off from my hand. Are you ready, Bonnie? Yes, I am. How could I help you, Bonnie? You don't have to help, Bangle. I will be okay in a few days. However, thank you for your intention. Okay, Bonnie. Hope you'll be better tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bangle. Oh my god. Tomorrow is Bonnie's birthday. I must buy him something. But what? What's up, Mangle? Nothing, I just don't know what to buy for Bonnie's birthday. Oh, I feel so bad for him, when he was playing on the guitar. It was good to listen to his play, and now his favorite thing is broken. Poor Bonnie! Yes, maybe I should buy a new guitar for him. Well, not a bad idea. There's a quite good and cheap shop in the other street. You should go there. Thanks, Freddy. I will definitely check it. I hope he'll like the new guitar. Hello Bonnie, I brought you something. Hi Mangle. What is it? Open this box Bonnie. Oh Mangle. You are so... awesome. You can play again with Freddy every day. Come here Mangle. I have to say something. I love you. So, what?
what does she want to ask from me? Well, there is one thing I want to tell you. I already asked the others what they think about my idea, and they said they were okay with it. So the idea is, would you like to live with us in this place? Well, this was an unexpected question. But if you really don't mind it, we will accept your offer and live with you. I hope you will get on well. I hope too. Welcome and make yourself at home. Hey, Freak. Hi, Freddy. What are you doing? I'm looking for the next pair. Have you found it yet? Yes. And you got it? Bonnie. And what is it? Sorry, but it isn't your business. Hey Bonnie. Can I talk with you? Sure. Come sit down here. So, you got a dare. It's quite special. It's a bit strange to ask something like this one. The dare is that you have to marry Mangle. Well I knew that one day I'll get this one. I'm just a little bit surprised. But I'm ready for it. We are in love for a long time. So I think it's time to do this. You know, I can help you, if you want. I can set up the same program, as I did for Freddy. Thanks, but you don't have to. However, I want to take her to the same place, if it isn't a problem. Of course not. There are so many stars on the sky today. Yeah. Come on Bonnie. Ask it now, or never. Mangle, can I ask you something? What is it? You know, we love each other for a very long time. And our love become more and more passionate with every day. It reached a level that it has to be celebrated with a very special gift that I give you right now. Mangle, will you marry me? Yes. Hey Foxy. Yes? What do you think about that new night board? Don't know. It's boring that we have to kill another human again. Kill him fast, and then we can party every night. But who wants to do it? Toy, Toy Chica. Chica. Lots of boys. Have you ever scared a night board in this pizzeria? No, why? Because no one wants to kill the new one. So what do you want from me? Your money and your jewelry. Shut up, Foxy. It was a freaking bad joke. Sorry, Toy Chica. We want you to kill the night board. Are you in? Yes, of course. I will do it this night. Thanks. Poor night board. The death is coming so soon. Finally we are here. Where is Chica? Chica, where are you? 
Hey Freddy. Are you up for something? Dirty? Oh. Chicken. There's something I have to tell you guys. We all know what happened last night. And there is a great chance that Chica is pregnant. So you wonder how it will happen and when she'll give birth, etc. That's why I'm here. We know that Chica is a chicken and Freddy is a bear. In normal case, they could not have a child. However, because they're animatronics, they can have as many child as they want. And now about the children. Because Chica is a chicken, she'll produce eggs. It won't take so long, one or two days. After she laid down the eggs, the baby will start growing inside. The eggs will be hatched in seven days. After that they'll start their life in the outer world. I think that's everything you have to know about these things. I'm so sick. Chica, is everything okay? Not really. I'm very sick. What kind of sickness? Pain mostly. And nausea. Oh no. I think she is going to give birth right now. I need help. Freddy, come and help me immediately. The eggs will be hatched in any minute. I'm so excited. Me too. Look. <laughs> they are very cute. Oh my god. This dare is crazy. However it has to be done. Let's start this. Today I got my package. You wonder what this thing is? Let's just say, it will increase the chance that something happened tonight. First part done. Now let's talk with Freddy. So, what's up with you and Chicken nowadays? Is everything good? Yes, we are really happy with each other. Glad to hear that. To be honest, it's really good to be with her, but we don't really have time to go out anywhere. I wish we could, but we have to do many things here. Oh, why did not say it before? I know a really good place, if you want some privacy. And don't worry about your works, we can survive one day without you and Chica. Are you sure? Of course. My plan is going well. They'll come to here and have a night here. And you remember the pills, right? I put some into their drink, so let's hope it'll work. I'm ready. I hope Foxy will come home without any injuries. I hope to Toy Chica. I hope to. Tomorrow starts the first battle. Tell me why. 
God, tell me why am I here? Please, soldier, hurry up. We have to go to training. Okay, man, I'm coming. Today is the day. Now we fight or we die. Toy Shaka. I miss you so much. I want you. I promise that we will have the chance to kiss each other. I will be able to hug you again. But only if this filthy war ends. Come soldier, show how brave you are. The battle starts in 10 minutes. Come fast. Hey dude! Hey! Red, wake up! No, this can't be happening. I won't die here too. Toy Shaka. I love you so. I have a strange feeling, but I don't know what it is. Never mind. Let's focus on the dare. So guys, today you two got a dare. What is it? Don't worry, it's not a big deal. Today you have to kill the night board. Like you do always. Wow. Finally a good dare. I'm glad you like it. Now, if you don't mind we will go and prepare for the night. Okay. Now please go. I follow you, but I have to take somebody else too. Golden Freddy. What are you two doing? Find out soon. You still owe me for finding the nightmares. Oh, I remember. Then, are you ready to come with me? Yes. Then, let's go. Finally, I got back my power. Thanks to you, my old friend. And you too, Nightmare Freddy.
But who are you? He is a freak. He is kinda responsible. I see. But I have a very important question. Will you help our work and join to us, or not? Oh. What should I answer him? Yes, or no? I don't know. I have a strange feeling, but I don't know what it is. Never mind. Let's focus on the dare. So guys, today you two got a dare. What is it? Don't worry, it's not a big deal. Today you have to kill the night board. Like you do always. Wow. Finally a good dare. I'm glad you like it. Now, if you don't mind we will go and prepare for the night. Okay. Now please go. I follow you, but I have to take somebody else too. Golden Freddy. What are you two doing? Find out soon. You still owe me for finding the nightmares. Oh, I remember. Then, are you ready to come with me? Yes. Then, let's go. Finally, I got back my power, thanks to you my old friend. And you too, Nightmare Freddy. But who are you? He is a freak. He is kinda responsible. I see, but I have a very important question. Will you help our work and join to us, or not? Oh, what should I answer him? Yes, or no? I don't know. After the dinner, Bonnie and Foxy brought in a lot of drinks. Alcoholic ones, of course. But nobody was bothered by the sight of these drinks. And the party has started. The party was quite fine. Our guests were the late in the party room too. Of course, Golden Freddy was watching my steps, but it didn't bother me at all. However, I noticed someone who was quite shy and a little bit sad. So I decided to ask him what was going on. Hey, what's up? Is everything okay? Well, not really. What's the problem? I... I'm not that kind of party person like the others. Me neither. But you know this party was made to celebrate you and your friends arrival here. My friends were my co-workers. Are you afraid of them? No, I'm not. But I don't know them at all. And I don't even know what to talk about with them. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Come with me. I think there are some people who you will like. Fine. Luckily I was able to help Funtime Freddy. He found a few guys who could talk with. However I didn't forget the pizza. As I see, it worked fine. Oh, one more thing. I think I shouldn't drink that much in the future. At least there was somebody else who was as drunk as me.
Oh yes, the dare. These dares. So you wish to challenge my skills? Bad idea. Don't forget, Chica and Freddy have kids too. Despite the fact that they didn't even eat from that pizza. Never mind. This time it'll be successful. Luckily the sister location guys are coming tonight. Golden Freddy. Damn. I forgot to tell him. Well, I have to tell it, right? So, I invited the sister location animatronics. I heard that a new pizzeria was built in the town with new animatronics. I wanted to be nice, so I invited them for dinner. Oh, I see. So you just invited them because you wanted to be nice? Yes. Why are you lying to me, Trick? Don't do stupid things. I gave you this advice a few days ago. You are a good person who I don't want to lose. You know I have to report everything to Streetra, right? Maybe. This can be our little secret. I lied to him. Just promise you won't do this again, please. Why is he worrying about me so much? In the evening, our guests arrived. Well, almost every guest. They said Dolora couldn't come because she had other plans for the night. Later, I showed the guys everything around here. After I showed the places, they wanted to meet up with the other guys. First the guys were quite shy with our guests, but later they had a very great time with each other. However I didn't forget my quest. I've waited for the perfect moment. I knew Bonnie and Mango liked the same pizza, so I could put my pills on it. Luckily nobody noticed anything. Now, we just have to wait and hope. Wait, wait, wait. I completed the dare, but let me with kissing boys from now. Let's see how it worked. So Freddy, can you do me a favor? What would it be? I'm not sure you'll like it. Just tell it to me. You know I'm the bravest bear in the world. And the most egoist, never mind. So are you ready? Yeah. So you have to kiss Golden Freddy. You know. I brave and everything, but... I pay you 100 bucks. Is that real money? No, but you it's a sheet of handkerchief. Okay. If it's real, I'm definitely in. Just one more thing. While you are kissing him, I will record it, okay? Bonnie, you are such a garbage. So when will you do it? Right now. Get the camera and prepare for the payment, my friend. He is so quick and ugly. Just concentrate on the money. Nothing else. I can do it. Yes, I can. Hey, Golden Freddy, what's up? Leave me alone, Freddy. I just... wanted to. Oh man, let me kiss you. Think I have to throw up. So yeah, this is how it happened. So, what's your answer? No. I refuse to help you. I won't let my friends down. Even if it means I have to die for my friends. Alright. It's your decision. It would be advantageous to kill you right now. However, I won't kill you. You can go for now without harm. But don't think you'll live much longer than your friends.
Golden Freddy, take him back to the pizzeria. And Freak, do not even try to tell anyone about this. Don't forget, Golden Freddy is watching you. So you'll watch my steps, right? Yes. However, I have to do something. I'll be back in one minute. Don't do anything stupid. I'll need a plan. Springtrap is too strong. We need more allies. They're so cute when they are sleeping. Hey guys! What's up? Not much. We were with the babies all day. They are cute. By the way, did you choose a name for them? Yes. We thought a lot about it. And we decided to give our own names to them. I think it was a good choice. Okay. I think it was a good choice too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to do something very important. Wait. Bonnie told me something about a new place, like this pizzeria. I hope there is somebody there, who can help us. I have to find Bonnie. Hey Bonnie. You told me something about a new place a few days ago. Can you show me, where it is? Yes, of course. So I talked with them. They were really kind with us. First I told them the situation. That Springtrap is getting strong and we need help. After that I asked them for help. They said they will help, if we'll know each other better. So I invited them for a dinner. I hope we'll get along. Hi Lonnie. Where are you going to? Hi Freddy. I saw Nightmare Freddy going out of the pizzeria with a bottle of Jack, and I think there's a problem. Oh, alright. Hi Nightmare Freddy. Is everything okay? I don't know. I don't know anything. What's the problem? I think you won't understand. I'm just sad because everybody has got a girlfriend and I'm here alone. I don't have anybody. Man, I'm sure we can find you someone. Look, Nightmare Chica doesn't have a boyfriend. Yes, but I'm sure she wouldn't like me. Look at me. I look terrible. Don't say this dude. We'll get her, for you, I promise. Come back to the pizzeria. Hi Nightmare Checker. How are you? Hi Nightmare Freddy. I'm fine. What's the reason you want to talk with me? It's very complicated. But I have to tell you something. Alright. When I see you, I forget every burden on my shoulders. You are the source of happiness for me. You make my rainy day shine. I love you. This whole thing... It happened so fast. But... I refused Stimtrap's order. So the consequences will be tough. You won't forgive. At least, Trick forgive me. Well, I don't know why he's so kind with me. I did. So much horrible things that others would not forgive. I wanted to kill him. But he forgive me. He is so nice with me. He understands me very well. But I don't know... why.
I got your dear guys. Right now, I'm looking for Toy Freddy, but I can't find him. Well, I was quite surprised when I first saw the dare. I have to admit that it may be impossible to do, because I can't force anybody to love someone. The previous three loves were a little bit easier. But right now I have to make someone to kiss another person who has the same gender. I don't have any problem with it, but maybe Toy Freddy won't like this. However I heard some rumors about him and stuffs. Well, we have to give a chance, right? Hey Toy Freddy. Can we talk? So, I started to talk with Toy Freddy. Of course I didn't ask immediately if he loves Toy Bonnie or not. We just talked about some usual things. I brought some cold beers too, because I knew that Toy Freddy likes it and it will be easier to ask him such a personal question. After a lot of talk, I decided to ask him about the question. That's how you make it. Yeah. Okay. This is the perfect time. By the way, can I ask you something personal? Um, yeah, sure. So, do you have a crush on somebody? Oh. Um. This question surprised me a little bit. But, yes, I have a crush on somebody. But... It's quite strange. Why? Because this love is quite unique. I can't decide whether it is love or not. I don't know what the reaction would be for it. How long have you had this feeling? For a long time. I see. Can I know the name of your crush? If you keep the name as a secret, I'll go. You can trust me. The name is... Toy Bunny. What? Well, it looks like the rumors were true. He hides his feelings well. And I don't know why I have these feelings. He's a male, but I have feelings for him. I can't understand myself sometimes, because I find girls nice too, but I have a crush on a boy. I understand you. It's okay for me. I will support you any way I can. Thank you. You're really kind. You know, if you want I can help you to reach your goal. Really? Well, I'd be really glad if you could help me. First I told Toy Freddy the whole situation that he's in. Next I gave him advice to help him out how he should approach Toy Bonnie, the topic of their talks, etc. I told him to be patient, because we want this relationship to be successful. I'd followed every step of his, so I could help him, whenever he needed. Many days passed. But finally, he reached what he had wanted. Um, Toy Bonnie, can you come with me to our pizzeria? I need your help in something. Of course. So, why are we here? Before we do anything, can you sit down please? I want to tell you something. Yeah. So Toy Honey, there is something I want to tell you for a really long time. Well, let's start from the beginning. You know, we are really good friends for a very long time. We help each other whenever we can. Sometimes I need your help and sometimes you need mine. I've never met any other person who I could trust for such a long time. And I hope we will be friends in the future too. However, I have to tell you that something has changed in me. I didn't know what it was, but now I know. From time to time, you started to be nicer to me and we started to hang out more. Meanwhile I was with you, my feelings changed. I don't know how you react on it but I have to say it out loud because I can't hold it anymore. I love you, Toy Bunny. I hope you can accept me and my feelings. Oh. This came all of a sudden. I didn't know you had this kind of feelings for me. 
I think you are nice too. But... Erm... I don't know what to say. Sorry, but I can't say anything. I need time. Hey. Can I sit down? Of course. What's wrong? Toy Freddy admitted his feelings to me. He did it finally. We girls know this for a very long time. It was quite obvious. Really? It's clear for me too now. But I don't know what to answer him. Do you like him the way he does? Well, I never thought about it. He's nice, but... We're both males. I think you should give him a chance. You'd be happy with him. And who cares he's a boy? If you both love each other, then other things are meaningless. Toy Freddy, can we talk? Yeah, one moment please. Am I sure? So, what's up? The thing we talked about a few days ago. I thought about it, and my answer is yes. I want to be with you. I think we should give it a try. Oh, really? Hey. You know. Is it okay with me? Golden Freddy. I'm Angel Jesus Christ, what the hell? What's wrong? You are foxy. I'm afraid I don't understand you. Look at your head. What the hell? Give me a minute, I'll check my body in the toilet. So do you see it now? Yes. But what's up with Foxy? I don't know. Relax a little bit, I'm going to check him. I can't find Foxy anywhere. Hi, Bobby. Hi, but I'm Freddy. No way. Let me explain the situation. It looks like you've switched bodies with Bobby and the same thing happened to Mango and Foxy. Are you totally drunk? Just look at your hands. What the fuck? Who did this? I have no idea. It could only be someone with some supernatural power, but it wasn't me. I'll go and find the others. I hope they will understand what's going on. Did Freddy tell you the things happened to nearly everyone? Yeah, I got them. By the way, I like Freddy's costume and I don't really want to get back my old one. Good for you. But I'm in a woman's body, so it's not that fun to... You know what I mean. I'll go and take a walk, maybe I can find something. So were these dolls in the toilet? As you say. And I think the person who made us switch bodies used these dolls. I've seen these dolls already. That puppet. As you said, it could be only someone with supernatural power. I think he is that someone. Maybe you're right. I'm sure he is at the generator. As always, I'll force him to give back your old costumes. What are you doing here? Why have you done this? I found this whole place so boring, so I made it a bit more interesting. Puppet, it's chaos. Switch back the floppies as soon as it's possible. Why would I do that? Better if you don't know. Nice joke. It wasn't a joke. Switch them back. Calm down, dude. I didn't want to create a chaos, as I said I just wanted to make our days more interesting. Sorry again, I switched them back in an hour. I hope so. And don't even try to do something crazy again. Jesus. 
This night was tough. Wait, it's my own hand. I'm sure Golden Freddy has talked to Puppet while we were having a party. <sighs> Back to my old costume. Hey, is everything okay? No, I'm fine. What's wrong with him? Hey Freddy. Can we talk? No. So, what's up? Today you've got a dare. Really? Yes. The dare is you have to steal Chicka's cupcake. Okay. This dare isn't so bad. Have you got any idea how to do it? Well, maybe. I'll keep Chicka busy while you steal the cupcake. Is this idea okay? Fine for me. Only a couple of days left. Are you ready for life? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing good. I know you want it too. The plan worked fine. While I was talking with Chica, Freddy tried to steal the cupcake from her. I have to say that Freddy's sneaking skills are quite bad. He almost got caught, but luckily Chica didn't notice him. However I don't know if this was a good idea. If she finds out what we did, we'll be in a big trouble. Where's my cupcake? I know what I've done. I thought I'd been fighting on the good side. But I had to realize what I've been doing is wrong. But I want to change. I want to help those who I was against and fight with those who I was supporting. It's over now, Stinker. We used to be allies. We used to be friends. But not anymore. You are not the person I knew. You changed. Now, I have to stop you. With my friends. With my real friends. So, what would you like to do with it? I don't know. Well, maybe I do. You should give it back to Chica. Before I do it. I think Chica wouldn't be so happy if she found out that her husband stole the cupcake. Oh, and you think you can prove it too? Look what I've got. My proof. Here it is. Okay, what do you want for your silence? Oh, this is the thing I wanted to hear. Okay, I hope you're happy now. Oh, of course I am. Okay. It's safe. We can come out now. What were these two doing? 
are they love or what? Well, I've never seen two toys like this. Now you may think that I'm dead, because I blackmail Freddy. I'm not dead. I just do things to make my life easier. It's that simple. So, instead of keeping my mouth shut, I went to chick and told the whole story about her cupcake. She was surprised. In exchange for this information she owes me one. Just like Freddy does. I don't know what's going to happen. But it won't be good for Freddy. That's sure. Don't steal my cupcake again. But, who knows, something has changed. You may think the attraction was softened. But I truly know it's a false belief. I want to hear more than anyone, spiritually and physically. But maybe the time? Maybe we got tired of each other? Maybe God doesn't want such a loser like me to be with a beautiful girl like Tlachika? Or is it only fate? Nobody knows. But I know one thing. My life changed that day, forever. Hey, do you know where did Tlachika go? She said she'll be waiting for you at the generator downstairs. I bet she wants some fun, if you know what I mean. Oh, I hope so. Man, she is just so good looking, isn't she? Do you really want to know my opinion? Yeah, you are my best friend, dude. You are so fucking lucky to have a girlfriend like her. I know. See you soon, mate. Write me instantly, after you've finished. Hi, honey. Hi. Is everything okay? I'm not sure. Maybe I know how could we change your mood. No, Foxy. Fucking no. What's wrong, my love? I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. What? Yes. Things changed, Foxy. You must be joking. Is today the first of April? No, Foxy. I'm telling you what I think and feel. I want to break up. What's the reason? Think and you'll find out. Maybe not now, but in the future. Honey, you can't just leave me alone. Not now. Yes, I can. And I'm doing it. What? It's over, Foxy. Goodbye. I hope you'll find the perfect one. Hi, Foxy. What's going on? Guess one. Still toy chica? Yes. I'm sure you're gonna be able to forget her. It is just impossible. I don't even know why we broke up. What? What's wrong? Don't you remember? What are you talking about? Don't you remember what have you done to toy chica? No, I guess. You nearly raped her, you fucking idiot. Me? We were having a party, when you started to drink with Freddy and Bonnie. You got drunk so much, that you hit Toy Chica. Then you wanted to take her to the bed, aggressively. I hardly stopped you, and you were asking for forgiveness. Toy Chica forgave, even though I didn't. We have promised we won't talk about this in the future, but we thought you remember. How could I? I was totally drunk, wasn't I? You were. But still, Foxy. You are no longer a man. I guess it's late now to say sorry. It is. Now I hope you know what caused the breakup. Now I know. Thank you for telling me this. Go to hell, Foxy. How could you do this to her? I did. Don't answer. It was a lesson for a lifetime. Think before you do something stupid again. Have a nice day. This lesson hurts. I can't forget it or change it back. It happened. Mangle was right, I'm not a man anymore. Not even someone with human feelings. There's a monster inside me, what I hope won't annex me. Or it did already? I don't know anything. 
this was my story. I hope everyone will learn from it. Or if they won't. Hi, mommy. What's up? I'm bored so much. With you? Nothing special. Why don't you hang out with Foxy? He's still way too depressed. That's true. He can forget to check her, can he? Not really. What could we do? In my opinion, the only way is getting back Toy Chica for him. We both know this is just impossible. We should give it a try. How? I guess I have an idea. I'm listening. We should organize an event where everyone would write a letter to someone, but without names. Are you sure we can carry it out? I'm not. But Foxy is my best friend and I don't want to let him down. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Alright dude. Have a great day. Hi honey. Hi dear. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Have you seen those papers on the walls? Oh, well, we put them there with mommy. Why? We want to help Foxy. You know his mood isn't the best. Yes, of course. Losing Toy Chick is not a thing you can just skip. As you say, and even though Foxy made an enormous mistake, he can get a second chance. And you really think he'll have the courage to write a letter to Toy Chica? It seems like he's given it up already. He would never give up if it's about Toy Chica. So yes, we think so. We'll see. Who will you write your letter to? Surprise, honey. So we got all the letters. Let's see, 11 letters. I'm gonna read all of them, and the person who thinks the letter is written to have to come to the stage. So let's start. Holy crap, the first letter is written by Foxy. Well, I'm curious about Toy Chica's reaction. First letter, written by Foxy. Only one sentence. Can I, I get, get a second, second chance? chance? That's all. Well, who is the addressee of it? Nobody. Then let's skip to the- It is written to me. And what is your answer? Well... I think I haven't told you about my job in the past, guys. Let me share my memories with you. Number 343, please go to the director's room, thanks. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Don't waste each other's time, let's get to the point. Alright, so the reason I came here is- You would like to get a job here as a surgeon. Yes, and I've passed all of the tests and proved to be appropriate. I know all of these toughs. Just answer me one question, are you afraid of losing someone by your own mistake? No sir, I take the burden myself in any case. Tomorrow morning, 6.30 in room 522, you are hired. Thank you sir, I can't describe how- Don't waste my time. Have a great day sir. Relax, it won't hurt. And... We're done. It didn't hurt, did it? No. Thanks, Doctor. You're welcome. Have a nice day. There are no more patients, Doctor. Alright, have a nice day, guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, and Jimmy, don't forget to take a day off. You have been working so much this month. Thank you. Everything worked well. Really. I love my job and it gave me strength every time I cured someone. My life was beautiful. Until one day. Alright guys, let's start it. What's up? Spine surgery. Poor guy. Let's get it done. Give me the knife.
Doctor, how is it going? Not so well. Put this crap back. Give me a new one. One second. Now. You'll be dead if you don't do what I say. Here is it. Pulse. It dwindles extremely fast. Get a freaking scalpel. I said give me a scalpel. It's too late, Doctor. What are you talking about? Zero pulse. I'll be back in a few minutes. I think my head is hurting a bit. He's dead. Because of my fault. What will I say to the relatives? Are you afraid of losing someone by your own mistake? Actually, I am. That's the sad truth. He is alive, right? I'm sorry. It was the worst feeling I've ever experienced. I killed someone. You could ask now, did you go back to the hospital? My answer is simple. No. I left my job. People were saying I'm a great person and an awesome doctor. Well... I think it's a false belief. I love you so much. I love you too, my bunny. We both know we shouldn't be doing this. But maybe I... Yes I know. And I love you too. I just can't control my feelings. I don't even know what I want. Do you need time? I guess it would help a lot. I will hurry you. Thanks for being so understanding. Jesus, Bobby. Don't say anything. Dude, you look terrifying. I invited Mangle for a dinner, and she refused. What? Why? Would be happy, if I knew. Calm down, I'm sure she's just having a bad day. On a bad day your boyfriend is the source of happiness, or am I wrong? No, you're hell right. I'm so sorry, brother. Thanks, Foxy. Means a lot. Is this what I deserve? Honey, it is not what you think it is. No, we are done. I'm done with both of you. What could I say? I told you it's a bad idea, you're so gripping and everything, but I shouldn't have done this to my boyfriend. I won't complain about anything because I respect your feelings. However, thank you for this short period of time, Mango. Crap. I'll kill that golden kid. Well. No. I'm too drunk to think now. Everything is better than that bitch. This wall is even more good looking than her. He can't get over. How could Mangle do this? We must do something to save Bonnie. 
I'm afraid we can't. Same bad mood? Yeah, something like that. Is that glass smaller than mine? I think so. I bought it really cheaply. If only just your glass would be smaller. Not funny. I'm just kidding, dude. By the way, Foxy is so irritating nowadays, isn't he? I just wanted to say it. What about that coffee? What do you mean? Have you got some salt? I'm sure we can find somewhere. I'll go and get some. Successful. Of course. Go call Foxy here while I'm doing the job. Alright. What the hell? You guys are so boring. Let's continue drinking, I suggest. I mean you really feel something? I think so. That's a huge mistake, brother. Don't come with the same crap again, please. But I can't do anything else. Why do you think we don't match as a couple? To be honest. I have feelings too, you know? I don't want to lie to you anymore. No, it's okay, but... I mean, do you really love her? I do. Well, I guess, may the best man win. She will be mine, brother. Jokes. What the hell? Yeah, he did say these things about you. But I thought he loves me. He hates you for whatever reason, he is so dumb. Hey Nightmare Chica, could we talk? Go to hell Nightmare Freddy. I told you I'm gonna win. Wait, what? I guess it's better if we run now. Why do I always have to get disappointed in bo- What are you doing, Foxy? Nothing. Freddy's gonna beat you for this. That old bear won't know about anything. So, what have you done? Nothing. That's not what she is saying. She's lying. My wife would never lie to me. What the hell have you done, Bonnie? Bonnie? Someone help! What's wrong, Mangle? Bonnie is not breathing! 
Are you kidding me? Dude, wake up! Mangle, I'm so sorry. No, my bunny. I'm so sorry for everything. I will love you forever. I love you too. What? I knew you still love me. I just wanted some attention, Mangle. Can you forgive me for everything? How couldn't I? I've been watching you for a few months. No, this sounds weird. Toy Chica, you are the greatest chick I've ever seen. Let it go, idiot. Let's just improvise when I meet her. Hey, Toy Bonnie. Hello, Toy Chica. Is everything okay? Well, yes, but I haven't seen such a beautiful creature like you before. Creature? No, 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 I mean you are just a good chick. You're getting pretty weird, are you on drugs? No, never. Just- Yes, I would like to have a dinner with you. But practice more. Thanks, I mean yes, I will definitely and you won't get disappointed. Weird but cute. I mean by dinner I didn't mean a McDonald's menu with pizza and some chocolate. I thought it's gonna be perfect. Look I got some champagne too. Without cups to pour it into, sure. Yeah I probably forgot it. Don't you want to start a conversation maybe? Yeah I was just about to ask you. How are you? I mean fine, but that's all you've got? Of course not. I've never seen such a gorgeous and beautiful woman like you. When I see you, I feel like every trouble is gone around me and you are the only sunshine in my lowering life. You know I had that affair with Toy Freddy, but to be honest with you, I realized he wasn't who I was searching for. You are the perfect existing girl on this planet for me, Toy Chica. To cut a long story short, would you like to be my girlfriend? Wow, that was not expected. Of course I would like to continue my life with you. That's how I found love in this awful world. She is the only one I can count on any time and who understand me at all. I will love her until the day of my death. Hey Chica, I'm cooking pizza tonight, don't you want to join? Sure, meet you there. I'm done. Wow that was quite fast. Yeah, you know cooking is my everything. So, what's up with you? Well, guess who's got a boyfriend? Jesus, really? I'm so proud of you. I went on a date with Toy Bonnie. He was pretty weird at the beginning, but then he told me how much he loves me and everything. I couldn't refuse it. And it turns out I quite go hand in hand with him. Congratulations babe. This is awesome. Hey girls, what's up? 
I just got the information that you're together. Yeah, you know what I'm the luckiest bunny on the world. I love you. Me too, honey. I'll let you to talk. See you later. Alright, bye. Well, he is handsome, you can't be dissatisfied. I ain't dissatisfied. I'm happy I finally managed to find someone who can accept my everything. Even my silly things. What about joining the others? Let's roll. Yeah, Foxy. Yeah, me too. He has changed a lot. He used to be so reliable nowadays. Such a useless fox among us. I totally agree, dude. I would happily give him a taste of my fist. Why do they hate me so much? Jesus Christ, Foxy, what have you done? It's not mine. It's his fault they were talking crap behind me with Nightmare Freddy. We didn't mean it like that. Well, if it's true what Foxy is saying, you can't complain about anything. However, nobody deserves getting stabbed. Let's get him up. Finally, here we go. Foxy, I'm really sorry. I mean really, really. Not nah, dude, it's me. I apologize. And I'll try to be my old myself. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. I should really stop this lifestyle. It is not healthy and I'm making my loved one's lives hard too. Bonnie, are you drunk again? No. Why would I be? I can't smell the beer you are drinking don't lie to me. I don't know what beer you are talking about. The one that is next to your feet. Damn, you're really good. Why are you doing this? It feels good. You have a family. You must stop or you will ruin all of our lives. I can't let my life and my child suffer. Chick is right, I have to stop. From now on, I'm not drinking alcohol. I promise. We will see. If you won't keep your promise, we are gonna call an expert. I've been sober for two months now. I couldn't think of a life like this. And now, I'm happier than ever. We are so proud of you, Bonnie. All of us. Thank you. Anyway, let's focus on the dinner we are organizing tonight. How about inviting the Nightmares and the Phantoms? You are the one who I was searching for. I can't say the same. I've never met such a handsome and cool guy like you, Toy Bonnie. I love you, Chica. I love you too. What is happening? Stop kissing! Don't tell me what to do. Yes, she is mine. Hey honey, what's up? 
Mabel, you are not my girlfriend. As you say, I am your wife. This nightmare was terrifying. I miss him. You kissed each other, right? When he was playing dead to get your attention. Yes, we did, but we didn't get back together again. Do you love him? I'm afraid I do. Then what are you waiting for? I can't decide, Toy Bonnie. My mind is full of thoughts. I'll let you think. And make the right decision. Hey. Oh, hey. How is it going? I'm doing good. Look, I don't want to waste our times. I'm afraid I still- Bangle, I love you. I can't stop thinking about you, since you kissed me last week. I stopped drinking, but I have to admit, my life is not perfect without you. You are the most important piece in my puzzle. So I will ask first. Do we still have a future? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm nearly done. I can smell the pizza. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Here we go. Thanks. So, how is it going? Everything is alright. What's up with Freddy and the kids? It's been days since I saw your husband. Oh yeah, he is taking some courses in hunting. I didn't even know that's his new hobby, interesting. Do you like the pizza? Oh yeah, it's awesome. You are a goddess, Shaka. It's kind from you. I really enjoy talking to you and everything, but I gotta go. I hope it is not a problem. It's alright. I know you are an important person, haha. <laughs> yeah, sure. See you later, Shaka. My Foxy. Hey Freddy. Hey Mangle. You got a new dare by the viewers. Oh, and what is it? Well, you have to press Golden Freddy's nose and somehow you should manage him to press yours too. To be honest this is extremely weird. However, I can't let the viewers down. I will do it of course. Hey Golden Freddy. Hello Freddy, why are you here? Could you help me fix my nose? I hit it yesterday and I would be glad if you gave it a look. Sure, let me see. Oh I'm sorry. No it's alright. Hey come back. That's all I wanted, bye. What the hell? I can barely read this. Log is run. Maybe I should go and get eyeglasses. Wow, such better. Wow, honey, what has happened? I have realized I need glasses, because my eyes had become worse. My girl is more beautiful with those than she has ever been. I love you. Oh. 
I'm curious, what would you react if there were two Freddies in the pizzeria? Hey Foxy, how is it going? Cool man, sup with you? I'm looking for Chica, have you seen her? Oh yeah, she had something to do at the generator. Thanks man. Hey honey, I have to tell you something. Jesus, what is it, dear? I love you so much and I want to kiss you right now. Oh baby, come here. Honey, where? What? What is happening? What? Who are you guys? I think it's better if I leave. Who are you now? I'm your real husband. This must have been Golden Freddy having some kind of fun. He was begging to kiss me. This guy won't leave our next meeting without a face slap. I hope so. I mean I'll pay you 20 bucks. If you blow that air horn at Freddy's ear, while he's sleeping. Are you talking seriously? Yeah, sure. Deal. I'm gonna do it right today. Alright, dude. He fell asleep finally. I'm sorry, Freddy. What? Come back, Foxy. Hey, Foxy, have you seen Shaker? Yeah, she told me she's gonna have dinner with Freddy. You know they had some trouble on Shaker wants to get things straight. Oh, I see. Thanks for the information. So you know. I'm gonna be straight. I have realized you don't really care about me nowadays. I knew you were gonna say this. I just want to focus on our children, Cheka. You still put me on the first place in your life. We are not teenagers. We have to take care of the kids and provide them what they need. They should be the most important ones in our lives. I can't see your point. However, a few kisses a day would make me feel happy and loved, honey. I will do my best, my dear. I hope it isn't a problem if I take that pizza. This guy is more and more pathetic every day. I am so happy with you, Mangle. I'm happy with you too, Bonnie. What would happen to me without you? You could find someone better, probably. But hey, this will never ever happen. Yeah, if it's on me, it will not. Once again, I terribly apologize the things I've done to you. I didn't say I forgave. No, and I don't even expect. Well, now I say. I forgive you, my love. Everyone makes mistakes. How can I have such a cute husband like you? Forever. Forever. How are the babies?
Don't even ask, they grow so fast. Yeah, I can imagine. And what's up with you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Do you want me to do a magic trick? What do you mean? I mean you have got a boyfriend. No nothing like that Jesus Christ. So you don't find me attractive? I've got enough of this let's get the hell out. Just close your damn eyes. Can I open them? Hello? What a miracle Golden Freddy. Hey Foxy, you got a new dare. Me again? Yeah, furthermore, the same one as a few weeks ago. Which one? When you blew that air horn at my face, idiot. I will do it again happily. Ha ah, ha, funny. You gotta do the same now, but with Toy Chica. Crap. Enjoy your day, Foxy. I'm so sorry, Toy Chica. Pray to God for forgiveness, Foxy. What should I eat for dinner? I should eat something different and special this evening. Screw it, I'll make pizza, just as always. Let's put some chili on that pizza. Let's taste it. Well, as you know Springtrap has left this world. For this occasion, we have organized a huge party, and Golden Freddy managed to get extremely drunk. We couldn't decide if he was drinking to have fun or to forget something about his past. He acted weird the whole night. My head. Hey dude, are you okay? I don't really remember what happened. Just let me get some sleep and I'll be fine. As you wish, man. Damn it. This whole thing is so screwed up. We will meet each other, brother. No. Is everything all right? Sure. It doesn't seem like everything's fine. What's wrong? You know it's so awesome to chill a little bit now. I totally agree. Being a parent is such a tough job. Yeah, we definitely deserve a small relax. Yeah, these exhausting days keep me so tired.
I mean it is great that our children are still young and spend most of their time with us, but maybe it would be easier if they were already grown up. Mixed feelings. I don't want to lose them yet. We have to enjoy every moment we can, until they start partying and those stuffs. Yeah, you're right. We can't earn the time back so we should live for the moment. Listen guys, we need to focus on this now. Nothing can be more important than this. I suppose you all know what I am talking about. If not, let me share it with you. Springtrap is going to attack us soon. How are we so sure about this? Bonnie, please tell them what you saw. Damn, it's really hard to talk about this. It's okay. So Bonnie has seen Springtrap in the forest. As he told it to me, it was like a hallucination. Springtrap appears like that when he wants to say something. And what is it he is trying to say? Well, that is the question. We will vote about what we are going to do. Here are the two options. We go back to the forest and try to catch Springtrap if he is still there. However, a few of us will have to stay here, in the pizzeria, in case he appears here. And the other option is that everybody stays here and we wait for our death. Everybody votes for the first option, am I right? Yes. yes. Alright fellas, get ready for the adventure. This place is so depressing. Would be better next to your girlfriend, right, Toy Mommy? Where's Toy Mommy? He is here. What do we do now? Forget your rifles, get your knives. You are running out of people, Golden Freddy. Come here, let's do it. Just you and me. As you wish. What? You are just as dumb as I imagined. What? Shaka, you were supposed to stay in the pizzeria. Well, I didn't. Take them back to the pizzeria as fast as possible. We could have been brothers. Three, two, one. I'm coming. Where could she hide? Not here. Are you ready? Who's that? Your worst nightmare. Chica!
What is it, Bonnie? I think. You think what? I think I saw Springtrap. That is impossible. Then we are on the same opinion. Let's go home, you should get some rest. Yeah, maybe you're right. Why did you call me? Bonnie told me he saw Springtrap while we were playing hide and seek. What? That can't be true, right? I mean, why would he appear? Springtrap does not appear by accident. A war is going to be started soon. I'm so happy that Springtrap is gone. Our children's future won't be harmed by that monster. Thanks to you. You did an awesome job, honey. I just got lucky. Anyways, let's tell the guys what is going to happen to them. So, as you know you are going to start school tomorrow. Are you excited? Yes I am. Finally a new environment and we will be able to make new friends. I don't really care, Mom. Sounds so boring. I hope you will change your mind later. Now, do not stay up late. The first impression is the most important. Keep this in mind. Good luck guys, we love you. Hey, how was the first day? Did you make any new friends? It was awesome. Our classmates are very cool. The boys too. We were talking about football all day. Maybe I will like this place at all. I'm glad you are saying this. Let's go home, Daddy is waiting for you. Poor Chico, we really don't have to do this. Oh yes we do. Tell me what's in your heart. You know Stringtra was not just an enemy. Alright now talk to me somehow I understand what you are saying. He was my damn brother, alright. What are you talking about? Before you. Before you all got here to the area, it was only Stringtra and me. But what do you mean by the word brother? One day an old man came to visit us. He was knocking on the door and we let him inside. He was our father. We got separated when we were children and Sprintra got evil parents. He got totally mad. Doctor said he went insane in the mental hospital. Mental hospital? Yes, his parents were beating him. He killed his dad. So he wanted to kill us, because he just went insane. Yes, he wanted me because he felt like I was the one who got mercy. You know my parents I got were really kind to me. And what happened to your original parents? Our mom died after Springtrap was born, and after the visit of our original dad. Well, we don't know where he is. He just left and never came back. Jesus Christ. That is my story, Torchaka. If I can help you in any- Please just leave. I would like to drink my beer in peace. Yes, of course.
Life is full of mysteries, isn't it? Hey guys, listen. You are going to meet Freddy and Chica's children. Are you excited? Yes, Dad. Hey guys! Hello, it's nice to meet you. We were looking forward so much to meet you guys. Yeah, we too. Our parents were talking about you all the time. Let's eat donuts, we got them in the kitchen. Let's roll. Are you in a better mood now? We can say that. Please help me get over faster you know. Yeah but don't do the same mistake Bonnie did. Shall I got this bro? By the way, what happened to you since Boy Chica left you? I mean, what has happened after the day we wrote letters to each other? You know the viewers didn't understand what has happened because you and Boy Chica have talked in private and there wasn't the Dare series episode made of it. Yeah, nobody knew. You could only see that we were not together anymore. Right. Actually I still miss her. If she would ask me if I wanted to get back to her. I'd say yes instantly. I don't really think they make a good couple with Boy Bonnie. There is something weird about that guy. What can I do? That's a good question my friend. Drop a beer. Thanks. So yeah, Drake and Fox 2 Fox didn't make an episode of The Things Happened. Boy Chica told me that she couldn't forgive me and we didn't have a future together. Sometimes life kicks in. I have no doubts about that. Drop me another. Jesus brother. They should get back together again. Do you often think about our past, baby? Yeah, definitely. Do you remember how we met? Of course. That old school. How much we hated it. Don't even say that was a nightmare. On our first kiss, I felt like I was flying above the clouds. And above. Then we got married. I still remember that shop what I got when you asked me. My happiest day ever since. That was the birth of the babies. Jesus Christ, being a mom is such a blessing. I'm not even a casual mom. The best wife on the planet. I love you, cutie. I love you too, sweetheart. And even the fights we had sometimes couldn't force us to break up. This is safe. I knew it from the beginning that we were going to have a family together. Did you? Just like I know that we are going to grow old together. You and the children are the best happened in my entire life. I can say the same, honey. Did you hear that a new night board is arriving? Yeah, I don't understand why they keep trying. They act like they can survive more than one night. Humans are so dumb. It's understandable why they are on the edge of extinction. I'm interested about the new night guard. Why? Just another stupid man trying to get money, but he'll be killed instead. What if we don't kill him? 
I mean he didn't do anything bad, he is just doing his job. And then where is the funny part? Nobody wants to live here with a human there watching every movement of Earth. I don't agree, we shouldn't harm the innocents. But you do want you want to. I'll kill him tonight. Just watch how I will do it. Hey cutie. Jesus what are you? I don't want to hurt you. What about having some fun? Get the hell out you dumb creature. Come here. <laughs> he kissed quite good, actually. What should I do on these boring weekends? I wonder what the first dare we got was. Let's rewatch it. Let's see. Oh, now I remember. Good old days. Before the kissing ones. Come Foxy, the dinner is ready. Well, then I'll continue later. <laughs> 